All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr. Today, we are talking about DNS host records. Let's get that dub, dub, dub. Let's go. We're back and we're talking DNS records, specifically host DNS records. So what is a host record? Well, sounds, sounds pretty simple, right? It's a host. So what does that actually mean? If you went to www.xyz.com, that's three W's, that those three W's would be a host record. Meaning in your DNS server, there are three W's as a host name under xyz.com in your DNS server that point to a specific IP address. Now that IP address could be an individual host or it could be a load balancer or it could be something else. Maybe your firewall that does some NAT translation. I don't know. But essentially a host record points a host name to an IP address and the complete DNS name, the www.xyz.com, is your entire the full path name, uh, which which helps it resolve. So why would you use a host record? Well, if you wanted to have a accessible application on the internet, a website, all of those would require a host record. Each host record has essentially two components. It's a name and an IP address. Uh, there's also an additional component called TTL, which applies to a lot of records in DNS, and that's the time to live. So if I queried a host record and it uh, came back with, with www.xyz.com, that TTL, that time to live, would tell my DNS server, how long do I cache this before I let it go? And uh, so a lot of times that's set to one hour. Sometimes people set it longer so they don't get a lot of DNS queries. but the shorter that TTL is, the faster changes to your DNS would propagate. So what, what does that mean? Well, if I change my IP address from 1.1.1.1 to 2.2.2.2 in my DNS server, and my TTL was eight hours, anyone that looked up my domain name, it may take eight hours or 10 hours for that to update so that they see the new IP address. So that's why they say, hey, when you're changing a DNS record, sometimes it may take 24 hours to propagate. That's because the DNS servers out on the internet are caching that record, so they don't have updated data. When you change a host record, you need to think about the propagation delay. How long will it take for this record to get to all my peeps so they see my site? If I said anything in this video that you're like, man, I'd love to know more about that, make sure you leave a comment. Like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching. See ya.